And the perfect time for this weekend's hometown Maine, we are taking you to the beautiful town of Camden. It was first settled in the late 18th century. It unofficially took on the name of Maguntacook, a Native American name meaning Big Mountain Harbor. Well, Camden's Harbor continues to attract tens of thousands of visitors each year to the town. Some 250 years after it first established itself as one of the great working harbors on the entire East Coast. And part of that history is being celebrated this weekend. We head now to Camden for this weekend's hometown Maine. The Midcoast town of Camden personifies all things Maine. Its downtown is dynamic, yet still maintains a rustic New England feel, while views of its harbor are simply awe-inspiring. The eclectic mix of boats that are docked here have been synonymous with this town for centuries. And when you think of Camden, you think of, of course, all these beautiful wind jammers. And there's a weekend throughout the course of the year. They are all on display and they set sail. It is the 20th annual Camden Windjammer Festival. It started out quite small. The schooners like to have events going on so that may, for their various trips, and they scheduled a get together in Camden. So the town built an entire weekend around these schooners, which only seemed fitting based on its history. Camden got its start as a shipping port. They built a lot of boats here. Some of these schooners date back nearly two centuries when they first traveled the seas as working cargo vessels, carrying items such as lumber, stone, and quicklime. So stone from this general area built the New York Public Library and a, a lot of other buildings that we're familiar with. During this three-day celebration, visitors are allowed to come aboard, have breakfast in the galley, or heave on a halyard to help raise a sail. But the festival always kicks off with the parade of ships, narrated by a man who was at the helm on many of these same vessels. Oh, I get enthusiastic about it. You know, it's kind of my thing. So, so. I'm like a father with a new baby. I have to tell him all everything I know about these vessels. This is probably the only place in the world you can go and see these kind of commercial, old commercial vessels mm -hmm. without engines, all sailing into the harbor all at the same time. The festival represents the full spectrum of these schooners, some built in the 19th century, others about 50 years ago. While many of these vessels have been restored, they still remain true to original form. We can seat all 21 passengers in the galley if the weather is bad, um, so we'll, we'll huddle everybody down there. It's been retrofitted now for the wind jamming trade, so we have these cabins to take on passengers. We can carry 21 passengers, but... Uh, Back in the day, she would have been a lot more Spartan, just a cargo hold. Zach Simonson Bond learned the craft of shipbuilding in Washington State, but summers here in Maine, working on these vessels, such as the 143 year old Louis R. French. As chief mate, he takes tremendous pride in the vessel's history and its upkeep. So, from the very top, our highest point to the water is 83 feet. Camden and these schooners remain the perfect match. These powerful, majestic working vessels, bare bones and all, hoisting their sails along a picture-perfect backdrop. And it's no wonder why people in this area claim that Camden Harbor remains the windjammer capital of the world. They're actually floating museum pieces. Yeah. And many of them are part of America's treasures. They're, they're heritage vessels, and uh, yeah. they're going to be around a long time yet, as long as people treat them right. Well, if there's something about your hometown that makes it unique, a person, place, or thing, we, of course, want to hear from you. So email us at hometownme at wmtw.com, and maybe we'll feature your hometown in a future hometown main.